Python has made software development easier, but it falls short in several areas including memory management, which leads to poor performance and security. Rust, on the other hand, provides memory safety without using a garbage collector, which means that with its low memory footprint, you can build a high performance and secure apps relatively easily. So today, I want to introduce a new book, it's a Speed up your Python with Rust. Optimize Python performance by creating Python PIP models in Rust with PIO3. This book is released in the end of 2021 by Maxwell Flitton. Maxwell worked on many projects such as medical simulation software for the German government and uh, supervising competential medicine students at Imperial College London. He also has experience in financial tech and monolithic AI. This book is for Python developers who want to speed up their code with Rust or experiment with a Rust without having to take on much risk or workload and no background in Rust is needed. This book has an introduction to Rust for Python developers and to use Python examples to get you up to speed with a Rust quickly. I am data scientist, so I am really curious on hands-on on uh, which I can to use now. Currently I am working on section number 4. Building PIP models in Python. I have made a special video for this topic in my channel. This book gives you a broader understanding what you can do around. For example, create a command line interface, build unit test, and even to set up continuous integration. What I really enjoy here is clear steps how to create automatic versioning for a PIP package. This is a cool thing to use in your MLOP solution for your CI CD pipelines by including GitHub Action. Do you see how many topics are under this section only? Many practice, many good examples you can use today. Each section is written with a structure that keeps you on the track and not get you lost during reading and doing hands-on. First of all, the author begins with the technical requirements. And then, from this point, you can grow your mini-project based on the book. Good thing is that you can start from any section as you want. That means that you are not dependent on the previous chapters. Just follow the steps of the concerning topic and enjoy. Here I can highlight that even the smallest details are explained, no hidden parts. The author made a big effort on this and it makes the reading this book very easy. So, again, what is Rust? Due to its speed and safety, Rust is the new language gaining in popularity. However, many people think that Rust is difficult to learn. Look at the simple. Rust is a memory safe language. Rust can sometimes be described as a system language. It can sometimes be labeled by software engineers in a way that is similar to C++, fast and hard to learn, dangerous and time consuming to code in. I want to surprise you here. Rust is memory safe, efficient and productive. So why Python with Rust? Before talking about it, I want to highlight one thing. I am not expert on Rust. I am very careful by selecting books and materials for learning. Because your time is your currency. And the first question why I should pay my any attention to Rust is how it can be useful and bring me any value into my work. Python became popular as computing power increased. In this context, we are able to use uh, extra resources to manage our memory with garbage collectors. With the rise of big data, our need to pick up faster language to satisfy our needs is increasing. This is where Rust is coming for. Rust can lay out and structure your code. And in the same time, it is fast, safe and efficient when implementing multi-threading. Using Rust in Python enables us to have a powerful tool. In my example, I am learning Rust by incorporating it to my Flask application to make this more efficiently. And also, Rust can be used to build efficient Python modules. This book covers all of these things and much more. So, let's go with the structure of the book. The book provides you three main sections in the journey. The first one is getting understanding Rust. The second, fusing Rust with Python. And the last one, 
infusing Rust into the web application. The last section is really involving for me. In the first section you will go with the syntax of Rust, you will learn principles of memory management and finally how to manage dependencies and structure your code across multiple files. In the second section you will start utilizing Rust in practice. You will learn how to build a Python packages with Rust that can be installed with PIP command in your terminal. You can do it with Rust. You will go across Python object and use Python modules inside the Rust code. So, in the final section, you will apply all what you have learned so far into the practical project. You will be able to inject your Python package written in Rust into every aspect of a web application that can be deployed in Docker. What else I like in this book? Another thing which I like in this book is the attention to every detail and putting all the information with bullet points. For example, right here. The topic setting up and running tests and type checking with GitHub Actions. Look, here's a quick introduction of what we are going to do here. Then the order provides you clear steps what to do. Then inside every step you will be provided by references to actual files, code snippets, schemas and screens that you may have on your site while doing these things. I think that the combination of text part, visual information and code blocks is very optimal while reading the book and of course learning from it. That is one of the difference from our technical books. The style the author selected to write this book is perfect both for advanced users and beginners just like me in this topic. Another great thing I have to mention is a question and answer part at the end of each section. The author reminds the most important key points of each topic by using simple words in the answers. And for you it's a great way to check your knowledge before moving forward. In my experience learning many things in data science, this approach works and if you are learning quite complex domains such as Rust, that's a good way to go on. It is quite difficult to make overall evaluation right now. The a couple of things I concern. The first thing, the topic is a quite complex at first, and as you read this book so far, the author successfully transformed this topic into simple example, words and Python codes. Another thing, the business wallet coming from this practice. The book is technically and diving deep into technical aspects. On the other hand, I always wish to know how the business and the end user can get benefit from that. There could be more information on that. However, in this scenario, the scope of this book wouldn't be very specific. And then I come back to the initial opinion that this book is perfect who want to grab the real benefit from Rust. Not high understanding only, but real, today and made by you. By keeping this in mind, I highly recommend to open this great book.